to order. Doubt we're going to have any public comment, but I'll ask for it if we do. Okay. <laughs> Under old business, uh, we haven't met for a couple of months, so we need to approve the February minutes. Well, it, it the meeting minutes were so stinking long, it, was, it, it took forever to read through them, mm -hmm. but I move that we approve them. I have a motion and a second to approve the February meeting uh, minutes. All in favor, say yes. 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 Any opposed, no. Motion carries. It is now that time of year again where we have to elect commission officers. So I will open the floor for nominations for the chairman's position. I make a motion that Billy Chairman, uh, Billy Harrington, remain as commission chairman. Second. Y'all are quick on that trigger. Do we have any other nominations? Okay, we have a motion to reappoint me, myself, and I to the chairman position. All in favor, say yes. 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 Any opposed, no. Motion carries. We also need to elect a commission secretary. Make a motion to that Harvey Durham remove or remain in the position of commission secretary. Second. Have a motion and a second. Do do we have any more nominations? Who's oh. Well, it was a tie. Yeah, they can't second fast enough on these kind of motions. <laughs> <laughs> All in favor of uh, reappointing Secretary Durham, say yes. 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 Any opposed? No. Motion carries. This discussion on the commission's intent regarding timely notification of test scores goes back quite a ways to when we were having some issues out of HR that we were trying to address. And if y'all remember, and HR and I have both looked for this and we haven't found much in writing about it, but if you remember, we agreed to try to have everything nailed down 72 hours after their orals, which the orals is the last thing they do. And by nailed down, I mean they have been notified of their scores. Um, the, I've looked back all the way through 2013, and the only th thing I can find here is a mention on the October 2015 minutes HR Director James introduced a hard copy scoring sheet to be used by the commissioners to cross-check scoring of promotional testing. He also stated that the 72-hour compilation period will be honored, so all scores can be carefully reviewed prior to notifying candidates. That's the only mention in writing I see of this. I know we did it. Our new HR Director and I interpret this a little bit differently and I don't know who's right and who's wrong but I have to get your you got to think back of what your intent was when we did that I did not notice this I was dealing with those neck issues uh, back in February and by the time I even realized it on our first batch of people that came through on the orals it was almost time for the second and I thought at that point there's no point in muddy in the water <clears throat> and I knew we had a year to talk about this afterward. My take on the 72 hour rule is that it, that is should apply to candidates 72 hours after they finish their testing. HR interpreted it this year to mean 72 hours after the entire process was completed. So in effect what you have you you you've got two groups that come through here doing oral interviews and they're two weeks apart. So what you're having is people going over two weeks without knowing how they fared. And my interpretation, my memory of the reason we did this was so we could get the results to them as quickly as possible. I don't, I think it should be each 72 from the time we finish well, in, in HR's second. defense, and he, yeah. he, you know, he, this is his first year through, and 
he was trying to make the most efficient use of our time, but I'm, and I appreciate that, but I'm not sure that's the overriding concern. But is, do you guys, when you look back at it, do you see it that our intent was 72 hours after someone had completed their portion? Yes. Yes. Okay. Then that's what we'll do. After the, each oral. Each yes. Week. Right. And I don't think it was an issue. I don't think anybody said anything that I'm aware of, but it's, I, I, I just like to get it to them mm -hmm. as quickly as we can. I'd want to know too. I, sure. I don't, yeah. certainly don't blame them for that. Okay. Then we'll I have a quick question. Are you talking about just the um, score, like where they rank at within 72 uh -huh. hours? Okay. Uh, so, Occasionally, though not often, we have someone who's unable to take the test at that time and has to take it, say, before or after. But our, our We've been trying to avoid that as correct. much as possible. But when that does occur, you're talking about 72 hours within that department's and that positions. That position. Yes. That position, okay. Yes. So just because someone has to test right. three days before doesn't mean they'll no, okay. no, no, and you, how would you, you wouldn't know what, how they ranked anyway Agreed. at that point. Yeah. You just had the one score. Whatever group completes, right. is complete, it's 72 hours. To Thank get, you. To get to that group. And along the lines of trying to get advance notification out to, uh, as for testing dates, and as y'all know, we have some sort of broad categories, but we give the chiefs and HR some leeway in how they want to set uh, these testing dates. But I would ask that both chiefs and uh, HR please work together sometime in the next month so we can present those and hopefully approve them in our uh, June meeting. Because we, we like to get it out there a long time in advance. And you know, people, people have lives and they want to schedule vacations and, and I get all that, but it can be a, a a bit of a pain to have to test somebody outside the bounds. Commissioner Peterson? Uh, going back just a Actually, minute. it says Saunders on here, but I knew it was you. Uh, going back just a minute to the 72-hour time frame, I think it's incumbent upon us as commissioners that we pay attention to that too and watch for the email or notification and get by HR yes. and sign off on them within that period. Yeah. Otherwise, it's going to put him in a position right. you know, that is uncomfortable. Right. So... So if y'all would get together over the next month and bring us back some dates for uh, for testing, so we can go ahead and get them uh, get them out there, so people will know what they are. Probably should have already done that, but I just thought about it today. Uh, let's see. Commissioner, can I ask a question? Yes, sir. Um, so I believe, if I read correctly, that uh, the commission in one of the past agendas had actually voted to actually hold that during the fourth week. Um, at some point in time, are you asking us to get together and define and define date? define the the date within those constraints? Okay, all right. And you should have a copy of that somewhere. Oh yes. Okay. Um, and I'll make sure I get another copy just to, to keep with this uh, this agenda as well. So okay. We'll make sure to follow that one up as well. All right. Any additional comments? Uh, Chief Ezell, are you, are you back to full staff as far as people that, that have been over in military leave? Yes, Everybody's home. Everybody's home. Everybody's back where they're supposed to be. Good deal. Uh, if nothing else, I'll entertain a motion to adjourn. So move to we adjourn. Second. I have a motion and a second. All in favor, say yes. 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 Any opposed, no. Motion carries. I do have an off the uh, record.